In this video, I explain how to draw ellipse by using the rectangle method. So first, we understand the problems. So we need to draw ellipse by using the rectangle method. So you already know there are various methods to draw a ellipse. Okay, so one of the matter is rectangle matter. For drawing the ellipse, we are required the two dimension. One is called major axis and one is called minor axis. So here, major axis is given 100 mm. Minor axis is given 70 mm. First step is we need to draw rectangle taking major and minor axis as a sides. So first here I draw the one major axis and its dimension is 100 mm. 100 mm means 10 cm. So by using the scale and pencils you need to draw one horizontal lines and the dimensions of this horizontal line is 100 mm. Then Give its dimension. This point is A. Here it is the B. Means major axis is A to B. Then from the center of the major axis. So center of the major axis means from this point we get a 50 mm as a centers. Okay, and from the centers we need to draw the minor axis. So what is the length of minor axis? Length of the minor axis is 70 mm. So from this center point of the major axis we draw the vertical line. Vertical line means 35 mm long line above the major axis and 35 mm lines below the major axis. Okay, so total line is the 70 mm long. Numbering of the minor axis is C to D. Then we need to draw the rectangles. So this side is 100, this is 100, and this is a 70, and this is the 70 mm. For Construction select upper left part of the rectangle. Upper left means from above A to B, it is called upper sides, and left means the left side from the C to D, means this part we select to start the ellipse. In this rectangle, means in a upper left parts, we need to divide the vertical small side and horizontal long side into a same number of equal parts. Here we divide in a four parts. If you take the more number of parts, then the smoothness of the ellipse are high. Okay, so here we are decide to divide this vertical line and these horizontal lines in a four numbers. Then after we give name to them, so name goes as shown. Okay, so here this vertical length is 35 mm. 35 divided by 4. What we get the answer? Answer is in a 8 point something answer we get. So it is difficult to divide this vertical length in a 4 equal part by using the scale. Okay, so what we need to know? We need to draw one inclined lines from the point A at the any angle. So okay, and what is the length of this inclined line? Length of the inclined line is the 40 mm because we need to divide this part in a four equal parts or either you can draw the length is the 20 mm then after this line is divided in a four equal parts suppose we draw the this inclined line 40 mm long okay then we can divide the 10 mm 10 mm four equal parts then this last part is connected with these points then after by using the roller scale or a drafters we draw parallel line from these all the points okay so these with respect to these line we need to draw the lines from all the other points okay so here we get the four equal parts then after we give them numbers that is a one two three and four so instance of the four parts you can divide in a five parts okay so it is 35 divided by five we get the answer is the seven mm Okay, so 7 into 5, 35. So 7 mm is easily putable by using the scales. Okay, so you can divide in a 5 parts for easiness. Now, this horizontal length is the 50 mm long. So 50 divided by 4, we get the answer 12.5. So 12.5 is not accurately put in by using the scales. So we need to do the same procedures. We need to draw one inclined line at any angles. Here we need to divide in 4 equal parts. So length of this inclined line is the 40 mm. Then after 
divide in a four equal parts of the 10 10 mm then connect the last points with these points and then after draw parallel lines of these line from all the points so we are divide these horizontal lines in a equal parts and gave them number 1 2 3 4 now join all the vertical points vertical point means these vertical points 1 2 3 4 to the upper end of the minor axis so which is the minor axis c to d is our minor axis and upper part of the minor axis is d so we need to connect these all the 1 2 3 points of the vertical lines with this point d and all horizontal points these horizontal points 1 2 3 4 to the lower end of the minor axis then after we need to extend some lines okay first we connect these vertical parts 1 2 3 4 with these d lines okay and this horizontal one point is connected with the c and this c to one line is extend up to d1 lines okay so here in the fifth point same thing is written the extend the c1 line up to d to one lines and mark at a points so here we mark it is the our one points then after these two point of the vertical part is connected with this d and this horizontal two point is connected with the c and this line is extend up to d to 2 so here we get another points then three point is connected with these d lines and these three point means horizontal three points is connected with this point c so here we getting these one points and this d is already our one points for the ellipse so mark all these points properly and join along with the a to d so these three points are connected with the a to d in a smooth possible curve okay so we are connected then after we need to follow the similar procedures in a right side part along with the lower half of the rectangles means we need to apply same procedures okay so here again we divide these vertical parts in a four equal parts that is a one two three fours this horizontal line is again divided in a four equal parts that is one two three four means again we need to draw these inclined line here then perfectly divides or you can directly putting this point by using the scales or a drafter directly here okay then this one point is connected with this d two point is connected with the d this three is again connected now from the c we connect this one and extend up to these points then after from the point c we connect two and extend it then after from the c to three and it is extend so here we are getting these various points and these all the points are connected from d to b and we are getting our curve now similar procedure is done in the lower half of the rectangles means this vertical part is divided in a four equal parts this horizontal part is again divided in four equal parts okay so here these vertical points are connected with the point c and horizontal point is already there okay so this horizontal point is connected with the d means from this d it is connected with 3 and extended up to some lines that we achieve here okay then d to 2 and extend it okay so same way we getting this number of points and we can draw the smooth curves and then after we achieve the perfect ellipse so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to engineering graphics or engineering drawing subject or other subject of this mechanical engineering for more video i request to visit the playlist or you can visit the description